And, and and my first comment is gonna be to to, the, to that fat ass. I, I I don't know what what's his name. I can't remember the guy's name. He's always hating on the LDBC. Okay, y'all know who he is. But anyway, you came to my comment section, and you know I even told you to leave your email, drop an email, drop the email, and, and you know what? We can have a one on one live debate. And I told you I would verbally destroy you. But you didn't do that, okay? You chose not to do that, fat boy. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. I tried to tell y'all that Paul and Malinagi, <laughs> he should have just kept his ass at home. He needs to sit down somewhere, okay? I told y'all this. I told y'all that Lobov was going to go in here and do exactly what I said. Okay, what did I say he was going to do? I said Lobov was going to press the action. Paulie was going to back up. That's what was happening in this fight, okay? I said that the man got brittle hands, the man punches. I mean, the dude, man. Lobov ain't feeling them damn punches from Paulie. Paulie threw a couple of stiff jabs in there, here and there. And a stiff jab, you know, uh, snapped Lobov's head back a few times. But that, that's really all Paulie did, y'all. All Paulie did, all he did was back up, pop his jab. That's it. Lobov, I said this fight would be won in close quarters. I told y'all this. I said that he was going to get close to Paulie. He was going to win in the clinch. That's what Lobov did. He won in the clinch. He got his most his, he got his most effective punches off in the clinch. And then during the breaks of the clinch, Lobov was getting these punches off. Um, I thought Lobov hit Paulie with the strikes that mattered. Okay, I, I did. Like, Paulie, he throws his little jabs in there. Lobov didn't feel him down punches. Lobov continued to walk forward, okay? He continued to try to walk Paulie down. And Paulie just... You know, Lobov thought that this was going to be a fight. He thought that Paulie was gonna, actually going to engage him in a phone booth. He thought that. But, you know, if you know anything about boxing, you know that's not Paulie's style, okay? And Lobov should have known that, okay? Paulie talk a good game. Okay, Paulie Malinaga, he talk a good game. He talk all that junk, okay? But this man, this man ain't been able to back anything up in years, okay? The man punched like a pillow, wait. I mean, you know, and people, did people forget... Did people forget that uh, uh, Paulie slapped that girl Jessica or he beat on her? See, I don't, I don't have no respect for guys that beat on women, okay? I don't have no respect for these kind of guys, okay? So, I was definitely going, uh, pulling for Autumn, Autumn Lobov to beat the hell out of Paulie. I was pulling for it, okay? And, you know, Lobov would get him in the clinch, throw these punches. And Lobov was hitting him in the body a few times, too. He had a couple of body shots to hurt him, man. And uh, he hit Paulie with a left hand that staggered Paulie. Paulie got staggered in this fight. You mean to say you were getting caught by Lobov? Lobov, not even known, he ain't no boxer. Lobov is an average MMA fighter, okay? You kind of you kind of have to like Lobov, though. He's kind of one of these people, man, that he's a fighter. That's what he is, okay? Even if he's getting outmatched, he's going to bite down on his mouthpiece, and he's going to come straight ahead. Paulie, you know, you can tell, man, that the footwork, Paulie got better footwork than Lobov. Lobov just don't have no footwork, man. Lobov don't know how to set nothing up with a jab. And you can kind of see why the man is, you know what, he got more losses than wins in MMA. I mean, you can tell. His stand-up is just not there, okay? But for the brawling style of bare-knuckle fighting, it works for him. And and I told y'all that in a boxing ring, Paulie would have won this fight, okay? First of all, you know, the rounds are longer, okay? You got more to really just make adjustments. And I felt like Paulie, you know, I felt like Paulie just did the same thing. He was very predictable. And see, Lobov was bringing the fight to Paulie. He was more aggressive. He was landing the more clean, effective strikes. And it's just like Paulie just didn't do anything. And then in round five, Paulie Malinagi, I, I didn't see him throw a punch. Okay, and he did say that his hands was hurting. And this is what I told y'all. Okay, this man got brittle hands. He got brittle hands. Straight up brittle hands. You know, he throw a punch, man. His hands are broken. And he said that he thought maybe his hands were broken. Now, you know, in a couple of days, Paulie, he going to have all kind of excuses. He going to say he was robbed. He wasn't robbed. This fight was too close for it to be robbed. It was a close fight. But in my opinion, I thought Lobov pulled the fight out. I thought he pulled it out in round five because Paulie didn't do anything. All Paulie did is bob and weave. He didn't throw any punches. 
Okay, I don't remember Pauly throwing any punches, and Lowball put him in a clinch and started getting his shots off. Uh, Lowball made it, he made that one adjustment, which you know you don't expect a guy like Lowball to make any adjustments because he's not a boxer. Okay, he don't understand the fundamentals of boxing. Pauly got beat by Lowball, y'all. <laughs> You got beat by Artem Lobov. Like, what? <laughs> like, dude, come on, man. <laughs> you, you're a world-class boxer, and you could... But you know what? It's just the punches of Pauli Malinagi. It's just... They couldn't do nothing, man. And so you get a brawler like Lobov who... They're just not going to care. They're going to be reckless with you because you can't hurt them. You can't hurt them. So Pauli, you know, talked all that junk. He sold this fight, by the way. Paulie knew. Paulie knew he wasn't winning this fight. He even said, I don't know if I'll do this. And they asked him, would he do it again? He said, I don't know. I don't know if I'll do this again. Well, you know, my hand. I'm sitting there cutting back lips. You know, come on, Paulie. Come on, man. You got your ass whooped. Well, I won't say as much of an ass whooping, but you got beat. You got your ass beat by Artem Lobov. Who don't have stand-up it's not that great and Paulie was getting caught he got stunned by Artem Lobov in one of those rounds I can't remember the round I said man I said Paulie gonna lose this fight <laughs> that's what you get for talking all that junk about Deontay Wilder Paulie that's what you get now maybe you'll keep your goofy ass in a broadcast booth where you belong you're not a fighter anymore Paulie you're not a fighter. Why don't you sit down? Okay, you're not a fighter anymore. Who are you gonna be? You got beat up by Conor McGregor in sparring. Now you lose to Artem Lobov. Okay, I mean, you got knocked out by a guy named Sam Eggington. I want y'all to let that sink in for a minute. You were knocked out by Eggington. I don't know, guys. Would you, how would you feel if you were knocked out by a guy named Sam Eggington? Damn. Now he got knocked out by a guy named Lobov. A really, really below average MMA fighter by the name of Lobov. Paul and, Paul and, he didn't get knocked out by Lobov, but you lost, Paulie. You lost. You lost. It's just what it is sometimes. Maybe next time some of y'all will listen, okay? I told y'all in this type of arena, okay, and it, it may not may not even be necessarily completely bare knuckle, okay? But I knew that in this arena, Pauli Malinagi, the MMA fighter, has the advantage in this arena. They got the advantage. And I'm going to just say it all day. They got the advantage. They're used to fighting with less than nothing on their hands. They're used to fighting in the clinches. And I told y'all in bare knuckle brawling, I told y'all that, you know, in this particular kind of fight, they don't break up. They don't break the clinches up too fast. They let you get your shots off before they come in and they try to break it up. And I told y'all this was going to favor a guy like Lobov. It was going to favor him. MMA fighters, they're used to fighting in clinches. They're used to holding those Muay Thai clinches. And I knew that the Muay Thai clinch of Artem Lobov was going was to play into the round. And it did. He used Muay Thai. You know, he used that, the underhooks, which Paul, he's a boxer. He don't know anything about getting an underhook. He don't know that an underhook, you can control a clinch. Paul, he don't know that. He don't know that. Artem does, and Artem did. Okay, but this is what I was telling people. So, uh, you know what? Maybe some of y'all that, you know, y'all know a whole lot of stuff or y'all think y'all know more about. Listen, man. Listen. This fight went exactly as I thought it was going to go. Okay. I thought Artem Lobov would win the fight. I thought he would. And, well, he did. Paulie just need to go sit down somewhere. Enjoy retirement, Paulie. Like, why don't you, why don't you sit down? Okay. I mean, why, why, maybe if he stopped running his mouth less, stop spitting on people. Stop slapping people. Well, then, you know, maybe. Maybe people will respect this fool more. Paulie, you're a has-been.